Welcome to another Inside Music Row. Today, we'll check in at a number one party for Kenny Chesney's latest hit, Come Over. We'll also celebrate with Dolly Parton on the success of her latest Cracker Barrel project. Finally, we'll hook up with Josh Turner to hear all about his latest music. All this and more coming up Inside Music Row. Hey there, I'm Bailey, and I'm so glad you joined us for another Inside Music Row. We've got a great show today, so let's get started with a country legend. George Jones is about ready to retire from touring, but not before going out with a big bang. He's announced his farewell tour, which will hit roughly 60 cities in 2013. George has been touring now over 50 years and has decided that it's time to slow down and spend more time with his family. He will, however, keep recording and is currently working on another project with new songs written by Dolly Parton. Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood are teaming up again to host country music's biggest night. The 46th annual CMA Awards show will mark their fifth time hosting together live on ABC November 1st. Charlie Daniels is gearing up for his 11th annual Christmas for Kids concert at Nashville's Ryman Auditorium. Funds raised from the event help less privileged children have a chance at a better holiday season. Look for Rodney Atkins, Phil Vassar and Thompson Square to join him Monday, November 19th. Tickets go on sale next week online at christmasforkids.org. The Road to the Ram Jam Sweepstakes has announced Billy Carrington as the final artist in the All-Star Country Music Series. Billy joins Kelly Pickler, Brantley Gilbert, Easton Corbin, and Zach Brown Band for the invitation-only 2012 Ram Jam concert event in Nashville, December 29th. There is still time to enter for a chance to win trips to the special show and plenty of exclusive gear. Check out ramjamsweeps.com to enter. Now it's time to go inside the song. Colt Ford's latest project, Declaration of Independence, features Colt with many of his friends in a wide range of songs. We had a chance to ask him about one special track at the end of the album called Angels and Demons, which includes a few lines from a classic gospel hymn. I wrote that with Craig Wiseman, and he's just, good Lord, that guy's incredible. I mean, just an incredible songwriter. We, we wrote a lot of stuff together, just kind of came together and I had that I had this idea and then he just helped me take it to another level and that was kind of him because he goes you know what my favorite gospel song growing up was and, and he started singing what a friend we have in Jesus and I was like man that just you know that was that's one of mine too I meant and and then we found out that we could use that because the song's been out for so long you know it's public domain now so we were able to put that in there and and then to you know I, I basically had a prayer or a conversation with God, whatever you would want to call it, at the end of the record, and uh, it's a pretty special song. I'm surrounded by all of these six string dreams, standing in the spotlight and can't see a thing. Follows in the air here in Music City, USA. Even though the weather is starting to cool off, there are still lots of hot tours going strong around the world. Let's take a quick peek at who's going where and when. to take a quick little break, but before we go, we have some awesome music to give away. We have the latest, Live Across America, from Josh Turner. If you want to enter this week's drawing, head on over to InsideMusicRoad.com to get signed up. Just enter your information or update your profile and you'll be good to go. Now for that break, but don't go away, we'll hit up a number one party for Kenny Chesney's Come Over when we come back. We'll be back in a sliver.